<laughs> Little duck sauce are thin. <laughs> Forty eight hours, boy. Hey, what's up? This your boy, Big Man. You already know what it is, man. So let's get right to it. Okay, so we got none other than a rap artist by the name of Blicka Blicka out of Houston, man. Now, Blicka did a couple of things yesterday, man. Or last night, I should say. I mean, he was up late doing an exposing campaign. And he was also having a paperwork party. An online paperwork party. He was exposing cats. He was talking a lot of stuff, man. And he was talking about none other than Sauce Walker and none other than the Sauce Factory and Sancho Saucy, man. I was I was like, wow. I always thought TSF had Houston on lock. The way that they shine, the way that they always send them exotic cars, the way that they floss money online. But Blicka Blicka got a whole nother story. Now, before we get to all the specifics and talk about this, oh yeah. Don't forget, he also threw a paperwork party for somebody who's who's little C T M I. Now, little C T M I looks like he's a CEO and executive in the game, and he's exposing them, man. And we're gonna go through all that, man. But before we get to the specifics, man, let's do this, man. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, and man, let's get it. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, now Blicka went online. And he posted a video where he showed Sauce Walker's duck chain. Now, that famous chain that he rocked in that interview that he showed up to where he just did, he only had on a jean jacket or whatever. And the interviewer was like, man, what in the world's going on with this outfit, dog? And he flexed the chain on him. That same exact chain is now in Blicka Blicka's possession. I don't know how it got there. I don't know who took it. I actually, I probably don't even want to know. But it's one thing for certain, man. He definitely has a chain, and he posted this video right here. Uh, <laughs> little duck sauce are thin. <laughs> 48 hours, boy. Now, as you saw in that video, man, Blicka Blicka got Sauce Walker's chain, man. I don't know how he got it, like I said, but the online rumor and the rumor that kind of he put out there was that, man, it was a bounty on the chain and all it took was 48 hours for him to actually get the chain. Now, he had a video that he released previously this week where he was talking about everybody who is his ops and everybody he had a problem with in the Houston area. Now, he mentioned himself as a big dog, told his story, and it's a really lengthy video, but I'm going to shorten the clip a little bit and I'm going to show you some of that. Land somewhere, Diener Wiener. You know I ain't through with you. You up to two, but I'm still gonna push your whole ass by thirty yards. I'm gonna hit your like Steve Atwater used to hit for them Broncos in the '80s and '90s. I'm gonna flatline your whole ass, but I ain't gonna kill you. I would rather watch you suffer. All them hoes you love so much, like how I do Shorty and Ken. Just y'all be like, how this big old black ass ugly ass nigga getting all them. Who else, man? I'm getting it all off my chest tonight. Sancho and Walt, I just want my chain back. I really ain't got no problem with y'all goof ass. Uh, dope boy sauce, <laughs> I'm gonna slap your whole ass too because you told me. You now, in that clip, it seemed like Blicka really wasn't going as hard as Sa at Sancho Saucy and Sauce Walker. But, man, according to a lot of the sources online, he actually put out a bounty on Sauce Walker's chain. Now, when he said, I want my chain back, I'm wondering... Was that chain, the duck chain that Sauce Walker wore, originally Blicka's chain in the in the beginning? Because in the clip, if you rewind back, he said, I want my chain back. He doesn't say, I want that chain that I, that I gave you or anything like that, or that chain that I bought for you or whatever. He said, my chain back. So I'm wondering, but I mean, regardless of that, he posted the, this picture, or excuse me, this video right here, and he put this caption up as well, man. Now in the caption, he said some very disrespectful things, you know, as regards to Sauce Walker, but it basically went like this. He said, did somebody say bounty? And then a whole bunch of laughing emojis with their hands up. Then he put at Thugger Thugger, which is, man, Sauce Walker and Young Thug been at it for a while. So that, that's directly posting that to one of his ops and say, you want this cheap jewelry, heart emoji, 100 hands up, and then a whole bunch of gorilla emojis. So basically letting it be known that he's got the chain and he will definitely give it to uh, to Young Thug just to try to embarrass Sauce Walker. Now, what I'm trying to get is 
How in the world did him and Sauce Walker get into it so tough when most of the people he talked in that long video, and it's like 10, 15 minutes long. I listened to the whole thing a couple of times. He barely mentioned Sauce, man. He, he talked about a lot of other people that he got into a fight with. He talked about a lot of other people that, you know, actually, you know, pulled out on him, paused. And folks like that, man. I was like, but somehow Sauce Walker became the main uh, target in this situation. Now, I'm thinking... Maybe it's because of the chain and it's just easier to, to put that online. But he also started talking about another person, a guy by the name of T, excuse me, of Little C TMI. Now, Little C TMI, when you go and you look at his social media page, he's followed by a lot of people in the Houston rap scene. I'm talking about like Killer Kalyon, a lot of cats like that, man. So it lets you know that maybe he, ha he might be an established executive in the music industry, but Blicka went to social media and just a couple hours ago was posting all this paperwork on dude, man. I'm talking about a laundry list of paperwork. Now, he's alleging that this is the same guy that has that social media page. If it's not, don't hold me to that. I'm just going based off of what he posted online. But this is basically some of the stuff he posted. As you can see, he posted this right here and he specifically tagged a uh, little CTMI and said and circled it and said the defendant's name and then he also posted some more stuff which also right here where he says where he has the name listed there now if that's his real name you know i'm not putting that out of there this is something that i got off of social media uh and you know this is exactly what he posted online so i mean you got you got his side of it and then you have little ctmi side of it of course but what i'm wondering is are Sauce Walker and them going to respond? Because if you look at their social media presence, it's humongous. Sauce Walker has over a million, you know, subs on most platforms. And dude is, man, he's legitimately running a label or whatever. And it seems like he probably just doesn't even have time to respond. Because if you look at his social media, man, he hasn't said anything. And even Sancho Saucy. Now, Sancho Saucy was actually in the Sauce Twins with Sauce Walker as a group. And he's an artist on his own, man. And they got their own thing going on as far as Houston, locking the game down, man. Houston's got some real big underground cats in the game, if that makes any sense, man. If you understand Texas rap or what goes down in Texas as far as independent artists, you'll understand that you could be major level or big league level and still be local in Texas. It's it's just one of those odd things that's always been. Now, Sancho Saucy, man, he hasn't responded either, man. Makes me wonder, are they trying to get their story together or did they even see the post? Because this was posted real late last night. And man, they probably woke up and was like, man, all these mentions, what's, what's going on? And probably still getting the story together. But he did tag, tag both Sancho Saucy and Sauce Walker in his original post, as well as Lil CTMI. So I'm wondering if they're going to respond or if they have anything to say to refute his claims of getting their chain for a bounty and then saying he's going to sell it to their ops, man. That is crazy. Now, until it, more information comes out, that's where it's at so far. And man, if you check out Blicka Blicka's social media page, you can see most of the stuff that I that I said here is accurate. Now, with that, this being your boy, hold up, hold up, hold up. Now, before we get to that, man, what do you guys think? Do you think that Blicka Blicka is cloud chasing? Or do you think that, man, he legitimately has a problem with all these folks and has the right to go on his social media platform and address that in pure fashion? Now, with that, this has been your boy, Big Man. Please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you get a notification every time I drop this hot content. And we out of here. Peace.